Cats, Billy, and Bob. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Billy. Today we are unboxing the January 2017 Comic Block. Comic Block is NerdBlock's comic-centric box. You usually get like four or five comics, a couple collectibles, a shirt, you know, basically a, a nice nerd block with comics. Uh, I tend to think that Comic Block has a little bit more value than other ones just because you do get the comics in there and each one of those has its own price point to it as well. So I feel like Comic Block usually has a pretty good value attached to it. Um, it's also one of my favorite boxes to unbox. Um, I try to predict things sometimes. Um, I like to, I don't know, I feel like I kind of have my finger on the pulse a little bit and I, I kind of know a couple of things about comics and, and what's coming out and things like that. So it's fun to make you know some predictions about this box. All right, here we go. Shirt first. Uh, this shirt is awesome. Um, it says Greetings Comrade and it has Colossus from the X-Men on it. Um, that's fantastic. I'm so glad it's not a Valiant shirt this month. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Um, I like that they went with a red shirt. And I like the yellow and the way that the red and yellow play, the, the Russian colors. I don't know, it's kind of funny just with the current political climate and how involved we are with Russia and things like that, that they went with a Russian theme shirt. I know this is a box from Canada, but I mean, way to be on the nose. I almost wish I would have ordered a size up on this so that I could wear it more often. Um, I've been getting the smaller size, like the fitted shirts, um, so I can just wear them once or twice and then I feel like I've used them and and all that because usually the shirts I'm like eh whatever but this one is really cool I wish I would have got a bigger shot uh, the bigger size of this one so I could wear it more often all right all right so last month they gave us a DC bombshell um, it was Harley Quinn and this month and then the uh, next month also they're gonna have a bombshell as well and these are nerd block exclusive bombshells uh, these are by cryptozoic and they come in these awesome tins and um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I have to say about them, so let's open this one up. Alright, so we got Harley Quinn last month. I'm going to go with Catwoman. I think this is going to be Catwoman. Uh, I was wrong. This is Poison Ivy. Um, this is cool. I like the... Um, gosh, I just love the detail of these figures. I really like the, the, the ivy that's going around her on the bottom. That's really cool. Um, and then the colors in her hair, that's really fun. Um, she's got like little green leaves in her hair. That's pretty cool. I think the green leaves and the uh, maybe the the base are the variation uh, on this one in particular. So yeah, these uh, like I said, these figures are awesome. I I've, I got another one. I got Hot Girl uh, last week. I managed to pick one up uh, pretty cheap at Walmart. So uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to start this collection. So let's keep. Uh, Keep these things coming. These are awesome. All right. Next we have this is the new Batman Adventures, a Robin bendable figure. Um, I've never been one for bendable figures before. Um, so this is. I mean, it's interesting. It's it's obviously the um, the new Batman Adventures, Batman the Animated Series, and all that. Um, I do like the cape um, that he's got on. It's an actual fabric cape, so that's kind of cool. So yeah. Robin bendable figure. Uh, a second bendable figure. We got a Batman this time, so that's cool. Uh, at least there's uh, Batman and Robin that we can have together. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool that they went and put both of those in there. That's yeah, I have no problem with this. All right, to the comics. I am so mad at myself. Um, last month or two months ago, I said that there was going to be a cat cosplay um, variant for Ninjak was my prediction. And this month, cat cosplay uh, variant for Divinity 3. I've never heard of Divinity 3. Uh, it's a Valiant comic. Um, so, and it says number one, and it's got the, the Stalin verse on top of it. Um, I did read that Valiant was going to start doing some sort of like Stalin verse thing, like that they were going with like this weird Russian theme. So we're going to go through, we're going to look at this. Uh, this is nice, this is handy. It's got the Stalin verse timeline in the front, so you can keep track, I guess. Yeah, this isn't bad. Um, it's, I mean, it's definitely got a very serious tone to it. 
I'm, I'm gathering and um, just from looking at the art and the way it is I mean it's, it's very serious but it's also I mean it's good art and I like that it, it you know doesn't necessarily stay in the bounds of the panes of the page um, but yeah it's it's very easy to read very usually user friendly um, so yeah there's not a bit a lot of big splash pages or anything like that nothing that's too distracting and hard to read like a DC comic um, so yeah not bad. I will uh, check this out and uh, yeah, give it a good read. All right, next we have um, this is called Kal, the uh, Chronicles of the Galactic Emperor. Uh, it's a Titans comic, so let's uh, let's open this up and take a look. Yeah, in the same vein. I mean, this is another one that's real dark. Um, oh, there's there's nudity in this book. But yeah, it's 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 so serious and it's very dark and I don't know it it's not for me. I, I just I, it's not the book for me and it looks like an interesting story. Um, somebody definitely worked really hard on the on the story of it. But uh, yeah, it looks like an intergalactic gladiator is what I'm picking up here. It's so weird. So I mean, if that's something you're into, if you're into intergalactic gladiators. Uh, Go for it. I'll probably read it once and then figure out something else to do with it because it just doesn't look like my bag. What's this bag? I feel like the universe is trying to tell me something like I need to read Red Sonja because this is the second Red Sonja that I've gotten from Comic Block and I got Red Sonja Zero in Bandbox and Comic Block last month and now I've got Red Sonja One. I, mean, I feel like at this point I kind of know what this book is going to be since I've read Zero um, and I looked through it. I kind of feel like I know what's going to happen in this book. And yeah, I mean, it, it just kind of looks like it's all over the place. And the art, it just kind of all just looks, I don't know, all over the place to me. That's really the term that I want to use. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't get Red Sonja the way that other people do. But, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's for me. Next. Alright, there's a print here on the bottom, and it looks like a Poison Ivy print, is what I'm going to say it is. Um, and, again, this is the same thing that happened last month with the Harley Quinn print. It is bent up and, and all sorts of stuff on there. If, if NerdBlock's going to send art prints, they need to protect them somehow. Because just sending a, a cardboard piece of paper, like a, a piece of cardstock in a box, it, it's not going to survive. Like, there needs to actually be some sort of protection for this because this is bent up. Like, um, if you're going to put it in a frame and, and salvage it, it's, it's definitely something you can do. I will say, it's a cool print. I like, I like what's going on in it. Um, I'm not a Poison Ivy fan though, so I have no desire to frame this and put this up and, and show it off anywhere. Um, yeah, and at this point, if it's bent up, it has no value. It's just a piece of cardstock. So it's just something that they've thrown in at that point. Alright, let's talk about the January comic block. First up, uh, there is the Poison Ivy Bombshells Cryptozoic figure. This is fantastic. I love that we're getting another one of these again next month. Um, I'm just happy to see these. Uh, then there's the Poison Ivy print, which is just a piece of cardstock to me. Uh, it is by W. Scott Forbes. Uh, it is good art. So if you like, you know, that art style, please check him out. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Red Sonja number one is the first comic that we get. Um, yeah, I'm not really. A big fan of Red Sonja at this point. Uh, I feel like I've seen it a lot. So, eh. Divinity Three, the uh, oh, what's it called? Cat cosplay version. It says in the book <laughs> that there's supposed to be a Power Rangers Justice League number one in here. So I and I do not see the Batman figures. So I am assuming they replaced that. Or maybe they didn't get it in in time for the box. Um, but it looks like this is what we got instead. And then there's Cal number one. And lastly, the X-Men Colossus shirt, which I love. I'm glad that this is in the box. I, I also like that they went with kind of a secondary X-Man, if you will. 
um, and as opposed to putting on a Wolverine shirt. The comics were all a miss for me this month, just not my style of comic. They're all independent comics, which is not a bad thing, but I, I don't know, I feel like if you're going to have a comic block, you probably need to put at least one of the bigger labels in there. I know that they were probably going to try to do that with the Power Rangers uh, Justice League book, and it just didn't happen. But I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna do a comic centric block, you need to make sure that even the the independent titles you're using are titles that are a little bit more popular. Red Sun is definitely a popular title, but um, I don't know if you're trying to get new readers into it. It's 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 a questionable comic for that. Tell me what you thought about the January 2017 comic block. Were those bendable figures a suitable uh, replacement for the Justice League Power Rangers? I say yes. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Let's have a little conversation about it. As always, please like and subscribe and share my videos. Let people out there know you're watching me and I'd appreciate it. And uh, until next time.